as we're getting closer to the seminar, I am now ready to show you guys a tattoo that we are gonna be covering up together. So in every silicone hand, we're gonna have a replica of this tattoo right here. I know, it's a little nasty. And we're gonna be doing it together, step by step, how to cover it up, so you guys can truly understand the process of a cover up. As I'm tattooing, you guys are more than welcome to come up and ask me questions, watch me tattoo, and I'm gonna be doing the same thing. I'm gonna watch you tattoo, I'm gonna give you some pointers. So thank you to all the artists who already reserved your seat. And if you haven't reserved your seat, I don't know what you're waiting for. I really don't. It's gonna be an amazing event and I honestly cannot wait. And if you still have no idea what I'm talking about, I'm having a seminar here in Phoenix, Arizona, November 13 and 14. So I'm gonna leave you guys here with a small clip about the seminar and all the information you need to know. Thank you guys and I cannot wait to see you. If you're a tattoo artist and you want to learn how to do cover-ups and use True Grace, then come to my upcoming seminar here in Phoenix, Arizona. It will be a two-day seminar and I will be sharing everything I know and I mean everything. If this is something you're interested in, send your submission to Mr. Period Reyes underscore seminar at yahoo.com. Limited spots are available so make sure to reserve your seat as soon as you can. Thank you guys and I cannot wait to see you. Peace. Let's go. Mi gente, how's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. This week, I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different and that is on the intro and the part where I explain my process. I'm gonna be speaking in both languages because I want everybody to understand and I'm blessed to have two different audiences which is in Spanish and in English and uh, adding subtitles can be a headache. It is definitely a lot of work and I definitely believe that uh, reading subtitles can be a little distracting and uh, you won't be paying attention to the video and what I'm doing because you're reading what I'm trying to say. So so uh, on those two parts, I'm going to be speaking in both languages and I hope you guys like this video. En esta semana voy a hacer algo un poquito muy diferente que va a ser en el intro y en la parte donde explico mi proceso, lo voy a estar explicando en los dos idiomas que es en inglés y en español para que todos lo entiendan y poner subtítulos en mis videos la verdad que es un dolor de cabeza, es mucho trabajo y, y no me imagino el problema que ha de ser tratando de leer subtítulos y verme tatuar y escuchar el... no, 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 ha de ser un desastre. So this week... Hold up. So this week, my client is getting a full sleeve in the next two days. Yes, yes sir. And I am ecstatic, I am excited. You have, got, blah, blah. you guys have no idea how excited I am. So on the outer sleeve, the concept is gonna be cultural. And the inner sleeve, we're gonna be doing a religious theme. En esta semana, mi cliente le voy a dar una manga entera en los próximos dos días, eh. Cuidado, porque va a estar bien pesado este video, la verdad. El concepto de la parte exterior de la manga va a ser cultural y en la parte interna va a ser religioso. Voy a conectar las dos piezas, los dos conceptos y se va a ver. Así es que mucha plática y poca acción, así es que vamos a empezar este día y vamos a divertirnos. So let's get this day started, let's have a lot of fun. Here we... You look a little concerned, bro. <laughs> you look... You nervous, bro? Guy, let me know now. <laughs> One mil? One mil? Why are we going for the one million views, bro? <laughs> it's like, if this video reaches one million views, I will do a giveaway. Damn! <laughs> one free tattoo. <laughs> Four by four. Four by four. four. <laughs> so what I'm gonna be doing here, all I'm doing is pretty much just completing the design here by freehanding some of the uh, calendars. And I'm going based off his middle finger here. Boom. Lo que estoy haciendo en este momento, solamente agregando más al calendario. Uh, estoy agregando más al calendario para que se mire más completo el asunto porque se mira pelón en unas áreas. No es tan difícil de hacer frigen esta parte porque son, son este, ¿cómo se llama eso? Son este, 
se me fue el nombre, what's it called? Ah. Bueno, vamos a decir figuras. Son figuras muy, muy fácil de recalcar, entonces no se requiere tanta habilidad que digamos, solamente es mirar tus puntos y decir, ok, aquí lo voy a agregar. So just pretty much look around and make sure that you are following the lines or the, the center and branch out of that. How are you feeling right now, bro? Good, anxious, a little nervous. A little nervous now? It's been, it's been like five years since my last tattoo. Five years? Yeah. I didn't know that. I thought it had been like recently. No. Oh. So, we're back to square one. Oh, damn. I don't even remember what it feels like anymore. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> Let me remind you. Cuenta mi cliente que la última vez que se tatuó se fue hace cinco años, entonces... Ay, ay, mi micrófono. Oh. ¿Dónde quedó? Puta. Puta. Ay, ay, ay. Como decía, uh, cuenta mi cliente que la última vez que se tató fue hace cinco años, entonces va a empezar de nuevo y con el dolor y vamos a ver si, si aguanta el desgraciado. <risa> nah, sí. Ya veremos, a ver ya. si no me rajo. Lo que tengo en mente en la parte de arriba va a ser este que se desvanezca parte del calendario hacia la barba para que se mire tridimensional y esta parte de acá se va a hacer más oscuro entonces lo que tengo planeado um, what I'm planning on doing for the top here is basically fading the, the calendar towards the chin area and make it look like it's going behind the face ya me está doliendo ah, con el sharpie dice <laughs> <laughs> Me arde el alcohol del Sharpie. <laughs> Listo. Ahí está. <laughs> Vámonos, recién a mi...
we're done. Day one, we went at it for 10 hours. Excruciating pain. Uh, I gotta say that he took it like a champ. And um, he fell asleep. I recorded it. Because <laughs> that would look funny as hell. Just, just to clarify, I don't want nobody saying, oh, he could have been like really, you know, ill or something like that. He just fell asleep because he was chilling. <laughs> I fell asleep. Yeah, he just fell asleep. He was. He didn't pass out. I was tired. I wasn't being uh, irresponsible. What part did it hurt the most? Uh, I think the inner shoulder towards my pec. Right here, huh? Next to the yeah. armpit. Yeah, and around my oh. wrist. That was probably the worst parts. Yeah. When I hit your uh, armpit, that's when you got a little dizzy, huh? Yeah. Catch you off guard. <laughs> like, oh, I was like, oh, hold on. Let me get a Coke. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, for real? <laughs> I mean, then again, we were at like hour eight and a half yeah. by that time. So, Day two, tomorrow, inner sleeve, this whole thing. Las horas que nos tomó para terminar el proyecto día de hoy fueron 10 horas. Y este, al final de la sesión ya le dolía el, el hombro, ya le dolía todo el brazo, entonces, eh, y se durmió, vieron en el video que se durmió, pero como lo dije en inglés, nada, no estaba enfermo, no se desmayó, ni nada, nada más estaba dormido, se relajó. Y... Una cistecita de 15 minutos, <risa> algo le recargar dijo. pilas. Pero, <risa> pero día 2 mañana, vámonos recio, listo, vámonos. Hoy es el día 2 de este proyecto grandísimo que va a ser la parte interior de la manga, de acá hasta la axila. Y el concepto de hoy va a ser un ángel que lo voy a extender desde acá hasta lo más que se pueda. Voy a agradecer la imagen. Today is day 2 and we're going to be doing the inner sleeve and the concept for today is going to be a religious tattoo. And the concept for today is going to be a statue of an angel that's going to go from here, the face is going to be here, the body the feet, and then some filigree on the bottom. So it's going to be an interesting concept. I don't think I slept at all. <laughs> so as you can tell, my eyes are baggy, poofy eyes. But once I get started, Today's lesson, how to put on a big stencil. I like to over moisturize the skin. Oh, damn, I just hit the camera in <laughs> my head. <laughs> and then um, that way there's no, like if you put on the stencil and it's a perfect stencil, you are 100% sure that everything sticks to the skin. Y lo que vamos a hacer ahorita, vamos a poner el stencil grandote. Exagérenle el extenso stuff y este para que para que no haga pedos. Glossy, se mira brilloso el asunto. It's glossy, but let it dry real quick. If you put on the stencil and it's this wet, the, the stencil is just gonna smear everywhere, like super nasty. Si lo, si ponen el extenso así como está de mojado ahorita, neta que se va a hacer un desastre. La tinta se va, se va, se va a ir por todos lados. You gotta touch his nipple. And <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm gonna base it off my middle finger here. And my middle finger here. Right there. And then, let that drop, my guy. Me basé en, en mi dedo de en medio, tocando la, la parte interior aquí de su axila y mi dedo este tocó su palma del medio
There you go. What I'm gonna be explaining in depth in this video is gonna be how to make the skirt look like it's folded. So, uh, the needle that I'm gonna be using is a 17 curve mag with a voltage of a 5.0. La lección de este video va a ser cómo hacer que la falda de la estatua se mire como que está doblada. ¿Cómo se dice? ¿Wavy? Ondulada. ¿Ondulada? ¿Ondulada? ¿Arrugada? <risa> Lo que sea, ¿me entienden? ¿Me entienden? Y voy a estar usando la aguja, mi aguja de 17 Magnum con curva con un, con un voltaje de 5.0. Y estoy usando mi tono mediano. I'm going to be using my medium tone to execute the whole thing. Para hacer todo va a ser mi tono mediano. I am not going to be mixing anything with this. It's just going to be my uh, straight, uh, my medium tone. El truco que voy a estar usando va a ser que no voy a estar mixteando mis tonos con otros como más claro, no voy a ir más claro ni más oscuro. Es solamente me voy a basar en la presión de mi máquina. Voy a hacer capas y capas hasta que agarre el tono que... Hasta que me dé el tono que estoy buscando. ¿No? Personally, if I was to be doing this with a voltage of a 8.0 or a 9 or a 7, I think, uh, because of the way I tattoo, I would... I would probably scar the skin, because the voltage is probably going to be way too fast. So I would have probably caused some damage because I'm just dragging the mag back and forth. But because my voltage is so low, it allows me to put more layers. Ah, lo que acabo de explicar es de que si yo estuviera haciendo esta misma técnica con un voltaje más alto como de 8.0, de 9 o de 7, uh, hay una gran posibilidad de que sea muy fácil para mí dañar la piel porque la forma que yo estoy tatuando, la técnica que estoy usando y la presión que estoy poniendo es muy fuerte para estar usando un voltaje más alto. Es pura presión que estoy usando, pura presión y mi aguja está afuera. De volada se siente la presión en mi mano. Es tan delicado esta área que se requiere paciencia. This area is so soft, delicate that you have to take your time, gotta be patient, build it up, don't rush it. This part of the statue is so soft that there is no shortcut. You just gotta do it. Like it's not like texture that you can just, you know, um, just go at it and uh, it's gonna look good. Now that I have this negative space here, I'm gonna slowly add a thin layer just to give it that, that illusion that it's curving. En esta parte de la piel que está negativo, que solamente hay piel, voy a agregar un poquito de, de sombra para dar la ilusión de que hay curva y se mire más tridimensional pero leve, una capa bien ligera That's how I would do a skirt skirt. <laughs> Tara, y así haría yo una falda de una estatua suavecita. A gusto, leve, relax, pispirets. Vámonos recio. I'm gonna keep doing the same thing throughout the whole entire statue. And yeah, let's go.
we finally completed this big ass project. He made it. Bless. <laughs> I'm glad he made it. Uh, we ended up doing a whole ass sleeve in two days. Uh, total hours were, or the total hours were 17. 17 hours. Today was seven. Yesterday was 10. And uh, oh, he was dying, bro, for sure. I was dying. How'd you feel? Bro? I was definitely tired today. Uh, I felt defeated. <laughs> Get poetic, bro. Get a little poetic. I just need to go home and rest. <laughs> That's what I need to do. Yeah, me too. I got to sleep. But um, can't wait to show you guys this project. It's insane, my guy. It's insane. Um, anything you want to add? Uh, thank you very much for the experience. Uh, yeah. uh, hopefully, I never have to do this again. <laughs> you, don't, well, you, don't, you don't have no more but space. I, but I do appreciate it oh, very yeah. much. Back piece or what? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> All right, my guy, appreciate you. <sighs>